I have officially benched my Seekers. We have unlocked the Bombardier, the rise of the Bomba. Let's do this, Skull Army. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, Skull Army and friends. Skull Crusher here. It is Wednesday, March the 10th. 2021 and we are coming right back at you with another boom beach video the rise of the bomb bar deer for 5 er gameplay you even saw the rise of the bombardier starting for 4 er gameplay before we do dive on in school army do not forget to leave a like on today's video if you are new and you are digging this content crush that subscribe button ring that bell and yes stay notified for when i go live and upload awesome boom beach content one thing I do want to point out Skull Army is the fact that some of these layouts are just getting absolutely ridiculous and I mean dirty AF here now mine is dirty but we ain't dirty AF there's no proto my rocket launchers aren't maxed and there are no shock launchers as well and I still have multiple multi nodes that I have not picked up with additional defense so it is getting incredibly not even incredibly it's getting extremely dirty out there for some layouts which is making the bombardier a much more viable option with regards to the shooting distance with regards to the damage they deliver yes they are much slower but you are not going to fizzle as much as if you were using the seekers guys we are going to go in i will show you some replays here now shout out to my chinese character friend first off shout out to major azul here actually i want to show you guys something here by the way go check out major azul's youtube channel and subscribe major is back for season 20 dominating as well check this out guys this is uh this is the layout that I want to graduate to, but I'm not going to go to this layout until I can officially max my rocket launchers. But I, I completely got caught in, in the trap here. I'm not even sure if that is the trap, but I went for the reflare. I think that kind of worked to my advantage, but then it just really, really slowed down the spread here. As you can see, my bomb is getting picked off by the boom cannons on the far right side here. Not even mentioning the boom cannon to the top left there, right in the middle. I mean, we got it, guys. We struggled. Uh, Kevin, sorry, oh my God, Kevin. Kavon went down one bomba left there so massive shout out to major azul there buddy your layout definitely gave me a hard time there uh, but then we found a nice winning streak here my log is 5-5 five, five. i am 50 percent this moment for diamond rank 21 in gameplay here uh, but check this out guys i'll show you how i've been using my bomb bar deers here for attacking here generally i have been dropping the bombas first as you can see with a delayed drop of one border right Rifleman, then Kavon. I chose the Bard out that sniper tower right there. So when I went for my reflare, uh, there would not be uh, that defense there to kind of pull my troops back and down there. So I think that split worked absolutely beautiful for me. Look at that delayed boat of uh, Rifleman coming around the bend here, working to my advantage. And this is when you just have to get aggressive with the Bombas here. As soon as you pop, generally that ER, that mid ER here, it is just banking directly to the Hail Mary flares. One ER to the next. ER. So now we're going to make uh, my way over to my next Chinese character friend. Uh, 215 to 204. So the times on my layout have been pretty good as well for my opponents here. Once again, we decided to go with the rifleman first here due to the mines here and that boom cannon there. We also barred out a rocket launcher, which we did have two adjoining sniper towers, which was good to pick up the additional gunboat energy. Boom! Goes the dynamite. And from here, I wasn't going to have flare. I was absolutely enjoying the spread here, managing the gunboat energy energy there was a CMO here I was a little bit skeptical about that from the beginning uh, but we made very very quick work of that and then just beautiful managing the troops managing the gunboat energy in this instance it was popping that bottom right ER before we did set up the Hail Mary ping pong to top left and top right ER making our way back over to the law Kara Basin massive shout out to you Kara uh, but I think we did walk away with this one because you did fizzle here and this was actually a rocket chopper fizzle it wasn't even a seeker fizzle 
console here so here we go one thing i would not highly recommend as much anymore is just completely stacking your layout in the back like that it is much more beneficial to have at least a few defenses if not maybe three or four lined up kind of like i showed you in major azul's uh attack when i attacked his layout um i would recommend having almost like a straight line of defenses at the start there just to kind of slow down the rifleman bombas from the get-go here uh, but as you can see no defenses right off the beach they're a little bit further up but we just managed it in this case we actually did bar out a shock launcher directly in the middle there and this was with a delayed drop of a rifleman coming up from the back you can see as well there was no reflare on this one this was managing the spread managing the gunboat energy cut luckily i did have a couple bombas that did make their way down below for that er there that was a preemie skull season 20 we are still premature flaring even the good Dr. Kavan could not help me fix this a problem. But even with that preemie, guys, we were still able to walk away with the Dubski right there. And of course, this one right here, 158 to 157. This was a perfect example of the Boom Gods absolutely blessing this attack here. Check out this Madness Skull Army. Full bomb, but right off the bat here with a delayed boat of a rifleman. You are going to see another delayed boat of rifleman coming out with the delayed Kavon as well. Generally, if there are rocket launchers and shock launchers, I will go for the Bart Job Sally on at least one of the shock launchers. Kind of manage my push as we continue the attack here. That shock launcher, quick work here. In this case, we needed to pop these bottom right ERs before we go for the Hail Mary, but this was weird, guys. We actually popped to the top left and top right er before we were able to hail mary the bottom right er boom goes the dynamite and then of course we the losing streak did come to an end here against chow's massive massive shout out to chow's here i'm going to show you my replay but unfortunately my time was just too slow see this is almost like that major setup that i was talking about having that front line of defense is almost from the ramp right off the get-go here now chows that does not even have any rocket launchers here but still absolutely incredible layout here great positioning with the mines and the defenses i really really caught myself off guard with that reflare that reflare really really worked against me here in this case i had all my bombas pretty much down below here not enough up top to get that very quick aggressive ping pong hail mary and i do want to show you uh what chows did do to my layout as well because after we did switch uh or at least add the mortars to this layout here chows was the first one uh to actually snap my four game win streak here so massive massive shout out to chows let's check this one out skull army and this was rocket chopper kavon delayed boat of rifleman he managed this great he managed this absolutely incredible here i think he actually flared back after we took out that er yes he did nice job with the smoke managing the gunboat energy and this is essentially round me out aside beautiful job with the rocket the choppers here absolutely dominating hail mary on the last er chows that was beautiful i did see you in my uh, discord uh saying gg chows gg buddy boom goes the dynamite the mortars over here guys have been a great addition as well look at the range of those mortars there that's more so to counter the seeker players and of course the bomba players as well but five er gameplay the metas are all over the place rifle bombardier rifle rocket the chopper full seeker warrior seeker kavan warrior rifle bomba it's crazy my friends absolute madness but what i am noticing is that a lot of players are stacking up dirty fives we're building dirty fives before we're going six six er layout is identical to five er layout and it's only getting dirtier after we do go six er pay attention my friends there is only one two two multi nodes there sorry with adding d so the majority of the d is before uh that six er so you really really want to stack up on that d if you are not six er already due to the fact that the majority of fives are already dirty by the time we do go to six it's going to be even dirtier my friends but nonetheless the seekers have 
excuse me, been benched and the Bombardiers are making a return. They've actually been owning for the last five, six days, possibly even a week here, uh, some players, but I myself have only been using them the last two days. Nonetheless, my friends, we will be wrapping up the video here. But of course, before we do, do not forget to leave a like if you are new and you are digging this content crush that subscribe button ring that bell and yes stay notified for when i go live and upload awesome boom beach content my friends we will officially be wrapping up the video i think it's time to make like a tom and cruise have a wonderful day my friends we'll see you on the seas peace